So today, we are making a dish using carrots, which in my opinion, is another one of those ingredients that we should be so grateful to have, as they're easily accessible all year round, they're very inexpensive, and they're loaded with so many nutrients. Anyways, the dish we are making is Spanish paprika and garlic carrots. This dish has so many beautiful textures and flavors, and it is so easy to put together. But the best part, you can serve these carrots either warm or cold, and they work perfect as a tapas appetizer, or even as a side dish. Either way, this promises to be one of the most flavor-packed carrot dishes. If this is your first time here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon that we can get notified when I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on 4 kitchen. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back. We're going to begin by adding in one liter of cold water, which is about four and a quarter cups into a semi-deep saute pan. If you don't have this type of pan, you can just use a stock pot. And we're going to heat it with a medium high heat. While the water's heating up, Let's get our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab a bag of fresh carrots. This is half a kilo, which is about one pound. And I'm gonna start peeling the carrots. Now, if you prefer, you can leave the skins on the carrot, but in my opinion, I like to peel them as sometimes the skins of the carrot have a bitter flavor to them. Once the carrots have been peeled, I'm gonna give them a quick rinse under some cold water and then gently pat them dry. Once the carrots are ready, I'm going to cut each one into diagonal slices that are a quarter inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. And you want to make sure to discard the end piece of each carrot. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm going to grab five cloves of garlic, and thinly slice them. All right, let's move back to the pan with the water. As you can see, the water is now at a full boil. For the next step, I'm gonna start adding in the slices of carrot into the pan. I like to add them in there in batches because if you dump them all in there at once, the temperature in the water is gonna drop too quickly. Once all the carrots have been added into the pan and that water has came back to a boil, I'm gonna get a timer going. This is the most important step in this recipe. If you overcook those slices of carrot, they're gonna get mushy and fall apart. Once again, the thickness of each slice is half an inch thick. So the ideal time here is between nine to 10 minutes to get perfectly cooked carrots that are not gonna be mushy and have a beautiful tender texture. After about nine minutes, those slices of carrot should be perfectly cooked. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, but with some resistance, they are ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, drain the carrots into a colander, and we'll rinse them under some cold running water just between 30 to 45 seconds to stop those carrots from cooking. Then I'm going to transfer the slices of carrot into a dishcloth. Make sure they're on a single flat layer. And then gently pat them completely dry. For the final step of the recipe, let's saute our carrots with our garlic. I'm gonna be using the same pan here. So using a dishcloth, I'm just gonna wipe it dry to remove any of the excess water. Heat it with a medium heat. And add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 60 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes, I'm gonna add in the sliced garlic and start mixing that garlic around with the olive oil. I always like to mix this continuously, that way that garlic evenly sautés. After sautéing the garlic for about one minute, you don't want to overcook it at this stage, I'm going to add the slices of carrot into the pan. And continue to mix these ingredients around with that olive oil, that way each slice of carrot is coated in the olive oil. And at this point, you don't have to mix this continuously, you just get in there about every minute or so, that way all the ingredients are evenly sautéed.
After about 10 minutes, and that garlic has a light golden fried color, and the sliced carrots are lightly sauteed, this dish is ready to go. You don't want to overcook these ingredients, otherwise that garlic is going to overcook, which gives it a bitter flavor. I'm going to turn off the heat in the pan, and season everything with one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.30 grams, a generous pinch of sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this one final mix, that way those seasonings are evenly coating all the carrots and garlic. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to transfer our carrots and garlic into a serving dish. And we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Our Spanish paprika and garlic carrots are done. You saw this, so easy to make, very simple ingredients, but the beauty of this dish is going to be the texture of those carrots. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Now this is a dish to truly get excited about. Here we go. That is so good. Between all that garlic and the Spanish paprika, it's an explosion of so much goodness. But the beauty of this dish is the texture of the carrots. They're nice and tender and they didn't get mushy. You saw this so easy to make, simple ingredients, and loaded with so much Spanish goodness. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Manahan, Tamara Johnson, and Kim Hems. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making in videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.